Back out here with the Le Mans, and I've got the color sanding and buffing all done. Finally got it outside for all the rain we had this week. Um, that's a 3,000 grit uh, finish polish. Uh, we talked about oh, I look at it like more shine. in the other video, but um, anyway, I think uh, for uh, somebody that used to be scared to paint a car, I think it turned out all right. Um, you can see the clouds in the paint, and this is that nice and clear. You gotta be proud of that. I would be. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing perfect, ain't nothing perfect. Nah, ain't nothing perfect, but it's straight, perfect. that's for I sure. I can tell you some of the best I can find, I can find, I can find, I can find if I look close, if got down on my hands and knees, walk around, I bet I can find something. I found stuff on $150,000 cars that, that wasn't right. Yeah. Give me long enough, I'll find something, something wrong. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to get better the more you do, though. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm telling you that already. <coughs> car still has some swirls in it from the buffer but that'll go away in due time <coughs> or I mask the car off <laughs> again I did not cut and buff the very bottom of the car um, below this bottom line here but the clear laid uh, very nice down there. Um, but this is a dark pearl blue off of a Mazda, new Mazda. That's the color he wanted. And uh, just uh, doing a little walk around here. <coughs> You can see some areas like near ridges, you don't want to cut too far. It's too risky. But, um, you know, you still got a little orange peel here and here and up through there a little bit, but nothing that's that big of a deal. Um, the main thing, if you ever cut through and go too far, you've messed up and you don't want to do that. So, Sometimes you gotta be like the old Kenny Rogers song. You gotta know when to hold them and fold them. Uh, you just need to stop sometimes and quit. But um, I got it cleaned up pretty good. Uh, There's some overspray mist here and there on some of the painted parts that need to be gotten off, but uh, door jams is done too. So they turned out nice. Again, this stuff here, this this stuff just makes a mess. This residue from the polishers, and I've got cars been painted eight years, and they still got crap in the door jams. It's just the nature of the beast. Um, <laughs> piece of trash in the paint. Uh, trunk splatter painted. Turned out nice. Um, this thing's ready to go home to somebody, and uh. I think they'll be pretty happy with it. Like I say, um, this ain't chip foose paint. <clears throat> this is a lower grade Metalux base coat, Nason high image, high solids clear. Um, cut and buffed uh, 15, 2025 to 3000 by hand, compound on a foam pad polish on a foam pad and here we go just wiped it down with some griots garage uh instant detailer i highly recommend that stuff and uh overall turned out very nice again i'm not the detail shop but try to have them clean when they leave but Nothing's perfect, but if you, this guy's going to drive this car. It's not going to be a trailer queen. I don't do trailer queens. 
I won't do anything for anybody who wants it nicer than what I have myself. Uh, I've already encountered that a time or two and I kind of ran fast. So anyway, reproduction trunk lid, reproduction here, reproduction quarter skins, butt welded in here. And uh, very, very sorry quality uh, quarters that they make for this car. Way too much body work had to be done on these. Uh, never, never buy a quarter skin for a 68, 69 GTO. Buy a full quarter if all possible. That may cut down some of the ripples. But uh, there was a lot of body work that had to be done to get this car straight. So uh, just keep that in mind. This car's got so many curves and contours, it's, it's hard enough to get straight just from the factory ripples. About every square inch of this thing was white with body filler and blocked. And uh, that's the only way to do it. Remember, if somebody ever tells you your car don't have body filler in it, they're lying to you. If it looks like this, it's got body filler in it, and they probably used a bunch of it. Not, mean, not to mean that it's full of filler. It means that they used a lot to get a lot of the ripples and stuff out of the metal. Most of it ends up, ends up back on the floor. But um, there's more filler in these quarters than what I would like just because of how bad they were out of the box. You could feel the ripples in these things. So you can imagine how bad they were when they was welded in. But uh, you'd never know it now. It's a real high gloss finish. Uh, I don't have to put the car back together, thankfully. He's going to do that. He's got wheel well moldings and rocker moldings to go on it. So, he's got it pretty neat under here already. So, it's going to be a nice car. Well, that pretty much does it for the Le Mans. I've got a 69 Chevrolet truck to finish. And then we start on that Monte Carlo. Everybody have a happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year.